Hey everyone, we're now offering online photography coaching sessions on our website. Check the description for our link. And we're also on Patreon, by the way. Now enjoy this video. Hey everyone, Lucas from iExplore here, and I am joined by my colleague Charles from iExplore. Today we are in a shrine called Hie Shrine in downtown Tokyo. Technically speaking, we're, we're kind of behind it at a smaller shrine that's tucked away next to the main shrine. It's called Sanno Shrine. And it has a famous or beautiful entryway composed of like a staircase with a ton of torii gates. And that's what we're going to photograph. We're going to work the scene and come up with a bunch of different shots in this location. All right, so come with us. And now that we've made it to the top of the stairs, um, you can see uh, the, there's, a, there's a pretty straightforward shot straight down the middle there. Yeah. Um, and you want to be around about f8, so you've got a bit of uh, a bit of you know nice depth of field there. Mm -hmm. um, but with this spot, it can get pretty gloomy in there pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes you may have to air four or yeah everything you've got. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. Um, and then, shot, right? yeah, you shoot a little bit lower and make sure you cut out the, the gaps in the, mm. yeah. Sounds good. That. Then, the next thing yes. is we can utilize these poles down the side here. Uh -huh. And this time we want to open up our aperture as wide as possible, letting as much light as possible. Right. So we get that, you know, soft background. Mm -hmm. And then, in this case, I'm focusing on that second character. And then... So you're focusing right about here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Precisely that nice one there. Cool. Yep. Um, so you can do, there's sort of two shots, you can zoom down a little bit, focus on the second character and cut out the, um, cut out the background so you're looking at Ooh, this yeah, sort of nice. thing oh, like I that. Oh, I love the glow there. Yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like what focal yeah. lengths are we talking about here, roughly? So it is, uh, what are we, between 35 and 50 on a uh, crop sensor, crop so sensor. it's okay. going to be cool. maybe 50-ish. Sweet. Yeah. All right. Um, and, and then the other thing you can do with that same shot with the blurry back is flip that and have the person sharp and then have all this blurry up through here. So with the phone, essentially get as close as you can and focus on that there because the phones have crazy close focusing distances right. like that. And then you're taking your shots like that. Like that. And then you can flip it and focus down there and do it well, like that as, as well. I think. I think it looks better with the character because like that. Because you get that. a shallower depth of field yeah. when you're focusing close, right? Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. So, I mean, I love that. Those are all really cool shots. Mm. Um, try them too. But I want to show you my idea, which is not originally my idea. I got this from from another guy that I explored. <laughs> yeah. Axel, right? Yep. Axel's shot. From Axel. Really yep. cool. So this one, we're gonna do a thirtieth of a second for the shutter speed. Okay. Yeah. So pretty slow. Okay. Yep. Which means you'll probably have to do like f8 for the aperture because it's so bright. Thirtieth, you know, let in too much light. Right? Yeah. And then um, what I want you to do is like I'm gonna like turn the camera real quick. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna focus down there at the bottom. Yep. And then I'm gonna like kind of snap it like this. And it's pretty tricky to do because it's hard to keep the uh, the center. Yeah, precisely in where the you center. But then you can get the spinning effect, which is pretty yep. neat. So another thing that we can do beyond the. The, the shot straight down there with the gates mm -hmm. is utilizing these flags that are basically everywhere. Right. Um, and you can get like a, a sort of a straight shot uh, just onto the flags getting the red and white. Mm -hmm. um, but then next, uh, the next sort of element is you've got the shadows today because it's a fantastic day for right, right, shadows right. obviously. Um, so you can get like a shot with shadows across the flags and that's probably, you probably want to utilize like a um, down a stop sort of like to, to darken the shot a bit mm -hmm. and then the other thing you can do is today the sort of the backlit so they, they come up nice for a backlit shot as well okay so you're so, saying underexposed by one stop or so, yeah right? to get yeah to get it to, and then to come out nice. what aperture would you say for these flags on, on a day uh, like this you can get yeah, f8 we'll probably, probably be fine. F8, right? yeah, 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 be fine yeah yeah okay, cool yeah 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 all right so and let's then, try some it's looking pretty yeah, cool. yeah. and then I'll, as i like to arrange the flags yes please arrange the flags <laughs> Yeah. And then yeah. I, I would shoot in here as well too. I reckon yeah, but I'm potential. trying to look where the leaves are. That's the thing. Up there is cool, but no, no, yeah, yeah. I'm like, like foliage this, here. This is my frame. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I have a 40, so I can't. I don't think I get the whole thing. Not bad. Yeah. I will say this. I know. I'm sorry. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna rearrange. I'm sorry, Charles. So I'm gonna rearrange. I don't know if I can accept okay. this. Please accept this. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this one. <laughs> to get that, yeah, to get the light. Oh, this? okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, yeah, is, yeah, this yeah. is really nice, yeah. But, you know, I'm, I apologize for ruining your, uh, your flag 
feng shui or whatever yeah Oh yeah, oh yeah, that is now that is really cool. I like how. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the it. foliage that's there. That's it. Yeah. It would be even do it. Uh, yeah, maybe a landscape. Landscape like this. Yeah. Right, cool. Yeah. 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 One way to find out. But I guess the, the key point <laughs> is, it would be it would be really easy to miss this if we were shooting the tour gates and just like. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Those gates, gates are right? distracting. Yeah, they're yeah. kind of uh, seductive. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, they fo you yeah, focus yeah, you your can, attention too much. You can miss another shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. All right, guys, so that about sums it up. Um, as you can see, Charles in the back arranging the flags for the next shot. He really likes the rearranging these flags. Just, just can't let it go if they're, if they're backwards. But um, so, yeah, I that, hope that gives you some ideas of what you can do with a uh, nice big tunnel of Tory gates. Um, and also the concept that you don't want to focus in too much on the obvious cool subject. There's other cool hidden things right around where you might be shooting. And if you just take a little bit of extra time and find those objects, you know, you get some other cool shots that you did, might not have expected, okay? So remember always, challenge your eye.